Reed has been playing Pichu a whole lot more. He likes the character. Uh, Interesting. It's just Sheik too, says says Void. But doing this game on, on Pokemon Stadium here, uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting pick. I think uh, I think Inkling actually does pretty well on the stage with like the platforms to just carry for the top. But yeah, I'm going to see uh, what kind of follow-ups Late Ops to go for here as well. I've, I've seen him already once. I'm really opt to go. He had a setup. Oh my goodness, he's just throwing out fourth match. And that's the thing. I feel like Pichu is so scary. Ooh. Oh no, Jab Block. He doesn't actually... Oh god. That was just scary. Oh, he's going to go for the Thunder there. And I know he's been having trouble with that up throw Thunder. Has so he really? <laughs> he just really wanted to try it out to see if it would work, but he got stuffed. Ah, poor guy. It's just Neo's ah. Toxic Fish. It's the same inputs. Except one is downward. No, it's the same inputs. Poor guy. But uh. You know how long it took Late to learn needles and a bouncing fish for that? At least it took like oh, two years. Oh, what, what a legend. What a guy. <laughs> Only plays neutral. But that's all right. Going into having the first stock come out from a uh, blue team losing their first stock. And yeah, I think, uh, what's his name? Splash is at a, he's at a very scary percent here. I'm actually kind of upset that Lay got hit by that roller because he did yeah. it from all the way center screen and yeah. walked all the way up to him and managed to hit him with it. But I guess that's the thing with doubles as well. Sometimes you just don't you have just time to be looking at everyone on screen. You have to be aware of everything. But the down air just gonna, wow. The down air gonna take uh, Hero Stock super early. So now it's gonna be a very big stock lead for uh, Yellow Team here. And that's the other thing as well, right? A lot of people say uh, that Joker's recovery gets worse with RC, right? You have that tether recovery, you kind of throw it out, you zip to ledge hella quick. But with someone like RC, where you do have that little bit of startup before he starts doing the travel, um, it's really easy to go ahead and go out there and time those spikes that we saw laid do there. I had a very, very easy time. So now, you know, as we said, Yellow Team has pulled ahead quite a bit. Maddie G still not losing a stock and plans to extend this one even longer as he continues to rack up more damage, but looks like a grab coming out here. Will this lead to anything? No, not, nah, quite. not quite. Flash. The back throw is not going to take his stock either, but are they going to go for a ledge track here? No, he he just misses the down uh, the down air there to edge guard Maddie. But uh, Wolf's Uppy just has an absurdly large hitbox and kind of just stuff out any recovery. But Hero with the SD, uh, Hero with the SD, and Splash with the SD. Now down uh, four socks to one here. This is definitely a rough spot to be in. And here comes the team combos. Yeah, they're trying, but yeah, they're, they're working on it. <laughs> Splash should definitely presses A to get out of those in there. They're definitely uh, yeah. down oh there. No punish uh, from Maddie. That's kind of the thing, man. Like, uh, Maddie and Late have been teaming for a while, but this Pichu is new. Yeah. So I'm sure even for Maddie, he's like, how do I combo with this character? They probably haven't figured it out yet. Not, not sure how to quite yet. Uh, up throw, down B. The easy, the easy no DI read with yeah. down B. Not, not a lot of thoughts to that one. He doesn't have to, doesn't have doesn't to react Doesn't have to move, there. doesn't have to jump. Doesn't just, yeah. They just press the button real quick. All right, word. That's the thing. That throws hella fast, too. So, like, mm -hmm. you get caught unsuspectedly and they immediately throw you. Down B comes out way too fast. Mm -hmm. That, 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 <sighs> Pichu Thunder is just so good in this game. Uh, but yeah, game one, that was a pretty dominating fashion for uh, Laid and Maddie, just kind of showing off their stuff. They can they can literally play with any character and still be super dominant. Yeah, man. I We're going to see what game two was looking like, but game one was looking kind of hurt. Uh, Hero and Splash got beat. Like, it was... It wasn't even close. They got slapped around. Look at my man. Soul Cross on the side. Soul Yo, Cross sit, on the side, Sit that bro. X2. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hydration. Stay hydrated, yes. King. That's, yes. That's how you know he's a good commentator, man. He's keeping the... hydrated on the side, bro? Keeping the pipes clean Clipboards. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, clipboards, what? Iron Giant there. Yes. Uh, game two going into Smashville, though. We're going to have the... The uh, yellow team say their characters, but we're gonna have Hero switching to Shulk instead. And I think I think Shulk's actually a pretty good pick here. Because now you have a sortie with five different forms of limit. Oh uh, yeah, using using the shield monado mid combo to get out of that. Yeah, Shul Shulk's just so much better in this game now. His his movement is just super good and his combo breaking is amazing. Yeah, that, that, that was the biggest thing that was holding him back in Smash 4. In Smash 4, uh, we saw Shulk actually wasn't quite terrible. He was actually a pretty good character. Where he struggled a lot was when he'd get put into the punished state of the game, uh, he just didn't have a move, like let's say like Luigi Nair, that he could throw out to kind of trade with things. Instead, oh my goodness, oh, get he really body. Du double thundered him. Oh, this could be... Uh, wow, he actually did that. I thought I thought he was dead there. Uh, oh, oh yeah, wow. he re-grabbed ledge there and just got down aired for his shovels. Uh, but we're gonna have two stocks of peace here, but Hero's at a fairly high percent right now. He, he's definitely in danger of uh, dying to a straight hit here. There we go, some damage being racked up. Up air, some splash, trying to get some more. 
to see here. I, I want to see what this shulk is going to do, right? Um, he can, uh, at this point, it's 161 on Splash. Wow, that's crazy. But uh, let's say he goes into Smash Monado and goes for an Air Slash. It's a pretty good chance that it'll actually kill Maddie as a defense. Yeah, that's that's the really good thing. I, I, I feel like that's a very uh, beneficial thing about Shulk in this, in this doubles matchup would be... Easy. Uh, yeah. Sh Smash Monado is just so much more better in this game. He could, he could just kill... Uh, Laid right now with an F smash and he, he just normal F smash at like 40 and it probably kill mm -hmm. probably dominantly too. That's so crazy Fair. because it does change that base knockback uh, so extremely that it just it, it doesn't even matter really what you do with yourself there. You're just gonna find yourself to the blast zone at low percents. Uh, but he does take increased base knockback of course as a result. Oh, he switches to his jump. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's back. back to smash here. You can probably kill Lay with a four tilt, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I think at the same time, though, because Ooh. of how Smash Monado works, he's also at super high yeah. knockback, so he can die just as early as he can kill. Yeah, but especially against, like, Pichu, I imagine, like, that four tilt probably kills, like, 40. That backer just killed at, like, 70 with the Smash Monado. Uh, nice oh. backslash. Backslash now grabs ledge, so it's actually, like, a fairly okay mix up for like ledge yeah it's, it's uh, pretty there, nice there. oh my god yeah, that's a good stock you have to be pretty high though uh, if you try to do that backslash like lower to the ledge and you try to grab it from above it won't grab it you have to do it pretty high but just the, the disjoint hitbox is so huge yeah. that you just like oh clean like right there like how are you supposed to stop that <laughs> covers like half the screen with that monado this is definitely a scary position for uh blue team right now down two socks one but it's not it's it's definitely still doable Oh, yeah, this is definitely doable right now. One Smash Monado, and it could be the stock for either of them super early. Oh, goes, shield goes to Shield, though. He's definitely going to want to play around, alternating between Smash and Shield. That, this could be it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, a kill throw, but he his damage output and his the, the this knockback that Smash Monado sends at is just super scary. Oh, you can have, oh, I thought he was going to go ahead and air slash that out of Shield. Yeah. And that, that's going to be the bait that you go for as well. You just kind of go into Smash Monado, and you start camping Shield, and then... Uh, you're not gonna get hit by any throw conversions. Yeah. Oh, it, that's, the, that's gonna be yeah, that's gonna be it. Splash and hero. Splash was that was that necessary? Now? Splash with the pop off. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, man. Yeah. You, you feel good about your win. We hit him with the. Uh, he did the, the, the double deep. He hit like cousin Terrio, and they like yeah. He yeah. hit him with a he hit him with the wizard robe versus uh hundred yeah. bucks. <laughs> yeah. Smack that any, but uh yeah, that was actually that was fairly good uh confidence from hero for that game. <laughs> game two, yeah. The two Thank you, Devin. Look at him. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> take my no. That that, 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 that meme is dead. But uh, unlucky. Clean. It was. Yeah. And that's the thing about Shulk too. His forward air is so damn big and disjointed mm. that like if you're off stage and you don't have like, I mean, like, Pichu has an amazing recovery, honestly. But just but like, there's just no active hitbox on it to yeah. even defend himself. It's and like, Ow. yeah, it's just hard to be in that position. But we're gonna no, Vil no lead. Please don't. What is he doing? Oh, uh, you might. He's goofing around right now. Okay. He's, he's sticking with the Pichu. I mean, he's hovering over Villager there. I was really shook for a second. But we're having the same characters going into game three here uh, Shulk, Inkling, and Pichu Wolf. Instead, opting for the bigger stage this time instead of Smash Bros. going town. So this could definitely work out. Oh! Van, I, I love you so much right now. Thank you. There we go. Van just found my man's lost AirPod. Oh, I'm rich again. No longer smells like broken here. <laughs> no longer here smells go. like broken here. But here we go, man. I mean, we're watching this game, too. And yeah. it's looking pretty even on all sides. Uh, you know, percent counts roughly the same. Laid with the less damage on the screen. Oh, the best yeah. That was just, yeah, he just caught him with that back in there. He forced him to recover high, and Wolf can just follow that super well. But, uh, he rapid jabs at ledge. I don't agree with that at all. Get up attack, but he just beat it, too. But, uh, jab attack, yeah. Gonna, gonna ink him here. That's a lot of damage oh, wrapped up, Oh, he hit him with that F-Smash. That's just not what you want, but... Let's yeah, go ahead and shoot. And this is what we're looking for the, the swing, right? Like, we already have a hero uh, on his second stock. We're at 51%. Uh, meanwhile, Laid Maddie looking healthy. And Splash will probably be on his way out soon, but I love the way he's playing around here. He's kind of dashing around the stage, uh, throwing people off the stage, and just kind of letting Hero deal with it. And, but Hero finally finding a KO there with that Smash yeah. forward air, but what needs to find more. And yeah. When he can space around Peter pretty well, we're just seeing Laid oh, throughout this is these four tilts. Oh, oh no. he turned around with that, and he just barely couldn't grab the ledge. But he also wanted to take Laid with him. It wouldn't have been like a super worth trade, but it would have been able to at least get his stock off. No, oh, he could be dead oh, again. No. No. And he 
he had a chance to correct himself oh. there, but now Hero uh, are receiving end of some heavy punishments. It actually yeah. isn't too bad, though. Both members of the blue team are still at low percent, so if they're able to pull out a stock here on Lade, maybe. He's dead. <laughs> oh, All right, come cool. on, Lade. Oh, Jesus. Him being in jail too long forgot how to play Pichu. Totally different character. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute, this character isn't bottom tier. This isn't melee. I'm like, what do I do? Poor guy. Trying uh, to go for more. It's not quite working out. There we oh, go, Nair. Yeah, that's going to be Oh my god, Maddie G. Oh, uh, well, he Blade again. can't recover, so this actually. Is, uh, if, he, if, if, Blade keeps, if Blade keeps just throwing these socks away, it could be could be doable for uh, Blue Team here. It was doable last game, but. Yeah, Maddie just, just saying, I'm going to make this one player game real quick. Yeah. I'm going to throw here really quickly. Hold up. Ooh. Back throw. Oh, he's, he's taunting. He knows. Easy. Yeah, and that's going to be the down air. Wow, that was a, that was a. That didn't like even a late. Oh, I'm out of jail, guys. <laughs> Yo, my Pichu kind of clean, bro. You <laughs> can go go back and tell the inmates about the legendary run his Pichu had at Ultimania. I mean, shout out to Kool Aid for being able to make it out, man. I'm, I'm yeah. very proud of him. He's gonna go back into jail and he's gonna be like, Yo, have you watched Ultimania? <laughs>